friends, Brian here. Uh, I think it's day 13 of Rescue a Crown. So anyway, I'm we're waiting on parts to show up, and when they do, the mechanic will come back down and put the transmission and clutch together, and hopefully we'll be able to leave Athens. It's beginning to feel a little like captivity. Anyway, um, I was slotting these a little bit yesterday, and that's what I'm gonna keep working on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on taking out this metal trim. So I can get under it. So I'm gonna take this piece out this morning and just kind of see where that leads. This is going to be a long project. Definitely hurts my hands. All right, folks, I've been busy just kind of working away at stuff in the bus. I got rid of the junk that was in the back, and I'm taking out the last few gallmite screws in the first section. Man, these things are a pain in the ass. short one. Didn't think that existed. Another 
short one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So let's see how does this work. Maybe I'd save them, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Blocks of plywood behind them. Some ugly plastic on the windows. like a Gomot driver in here. Who knows? <clears throat> And I've kind of got a floor plan together, and I'll share that at a later point. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel. There is a playlist of all the crown related videos uh, for the rescue. This is day 13, and I'm just waiting on the mechanic to come put my transmission back together so I can get out. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Brian here. So, I want to show you guys one of the reasons that we've had kind of a work stoppage and the delay on this transmission project. So come with me, let's go down inside the engine. So we're not really in the engine, but we are under the bus and the transmission is out of the bus. And so let's see if I can wiggle myself here a little bit. That'll work. Under the bus through the hatch in the floor. And what I want to show you is this deformation that is in the splines on the input shaft. And this deformation is a little weird. Um, what it looks like to me is a shear event. And, you know, this could be the reason that we're having problems getting it in and out of gear. It's real worn right here on some of these teeth. And there's definitely a bulge going on in the gears. Um, so this is a 1.75 inch shaft and one of the things we're doing is switching this out to a 2 inch shaft because that's a whole lot more common and I'm just going to feel back here. Yeah, these teeth are still good. It needs to be greased but they're still good. So I'm just kind of messing around with stuff. So we're going to change this cover, bearing and shaft this afternoon. and 
that's going to set us up for a standard two inch input shaft and it won't have these ridges or bulges and um, I can't really tell what's going on with these I can just tell that I don't think these are normal and um, I don't think that's a normal feature on a spline and that could be one of the reasons it wasn't wanting to gear into gear and um, so you know I'm not yeah, it's about a hundred dollar part, so I'm not real worried about replacing it because um, this could this could be a problem later. Um, generally, once you see deformation in the teeth on a on a gear, which is what splines are, um, you've already had metal f the metal's already stressed, and you're going to have a, a shear event later on. So, thanks for watching. Please remember to like or subscribe to my. Taking out the last of a couple more screws. Now sometimes it's there's pressure on here. Now this one's just a mess. small piece left to do here and another small piece in the back and then I'll have all that that hip trim off the this side 